Okay guys, here we go. This is uh, my first video game pickup video. Got a lot of stuff to go over, so we'll get right to it. Uh, I'll start with a pan of everything I bought, and then uh, we'll go through everything piece by piece. Uh, I got a few games flipped over, you'll notice. I'll save those for last. Those are kind of surprises. So here we go. Uh, someone uh, replied to one of my Craigslist ads. Uh, got an email. Uh, it took about a month to line this collection up, but uh, here it is. So just start with a pan of everything I got. Uh, obviously, best right there. That's really nice. Uh, Nintendo Deluxe set in box. The robot was unused inside. He's mint. Got all his parts. Systems in decent shape inside. Probably won't open that up during this video because uh, it takes a little time to get into that box. Uh, also came with a loose NES system with uh, some controllers, the wires. Uh, come over here. Power glove. Remember that from that movie, The Wizard. Uh, pretty cool item. Mario Brothers in box. Super Mario Brothers black box game. Not in bad shape. Um, and yeah, then some Nintendo games. The secret ones there. And uh, move over here. Also came with the same lot. Uh, this N64 with those games two controllers, the memory cards, and uh, some Super Nintendo games with the Super Nintendo system with one controller on the wires. These systems aren't really that clean, but uh, you know, they're not bad. So we'll get right to it. I'll bring this over here, set this up, and we'll start going through the games. So first off, Operation Wolf. Uh, pretty good game, not bad really common. I'm just going to start ripping through these pretty quick. P-O-W. Next up, Magic Johnson's Fast Break. I really didn't clean any of this stuff up. It's all basically how I got it. Excite Bike, another black box game. That will go in my hoard. Uh, I will do a video of my black box hoard at some point. I have about 115 black box games. Uh, Metal Mech. It's kind of a harder to find title, not really worth that much. Star Soldier. Wrath of the Black Manta. A little chewed up there. That'll probably just be a freebie in someone's lot. Golf. Another black box game. Indie Heat, Thrash, but still Indie Heat, kind of harder to find. Super Mario Brothers, Black Box, not hard to find. Still will go in the horde, it's a flat top 5 screw, so that's nice. Bases Loaded, Cheap Sports. Hogan's Alley with the sleeve. Burger Time with a sleeve. Fester's Quest. Knight Rider. Also had the instruction manual with Knight Rider. Not bad. Jack Nicholas. Also had a cut box here for Jack Nicholas, which I just found out that is filled with instruction manuals. So let's see what's in here. Days of Thunder, random insert, the Fester's Quest poster, that's cool. And some other just random stuff, Tetris manual. And Fester's Quest manual. That will go in my manual hoard. Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. What collection wouldn't be complete without it? Another Super Mario Duck Hunt. Tetris. And Double Dribble. Now that's for the cheap stuff. Black Box Super Mario Brothers. It's a revision A. It's not bad. It's in pretty nice shape. A little bit of wear. Super Mario 3. Classic great game. 
Maniac Mansion. One of those point and click games. Pretty fun game. Some unique stuff you can do in that game. One of the harder to play Nintendo games, Ghosts and Goblins. Great game. Kirby's Adventure. Uh, obviously Kirby. Popular. And the first Zelda gold version. Uh, it's only a three screw, but still, it's nice. Pretty nice shape. Now, on for the hidden titles. I don't know why I really felt necessary to hide this. I mean, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It's fairly common, but it's a good game. It's a decent money game. Um, this game is getting increasingly harder to find. Dusty Diamond's All-Star Softball. Very good game. It's about 35, 40 bucks. It's really mint. It's really nice. I'll probably keep this. And this was the find in the whole collection, uh, as far as the NES stuff goes. Mega Man 5. Really mint, nice shiny label. Uh, this one I'll save also. Now, the Super Nintendo games, I'm just going to kind of fan them out like this. They're all sports titles. I mean, there's NBA Jam and NBA Jam Tournament, but they're not really that special. Killer Instinct, great game. Used to really, really piss people off in the arcade when I played this game. The best Super Nintendo game was uh, Death and Return of Superman. Really nice shape. I don't get this game too often. Pretty nice. The N64 games were pretty horrible too, unfortunately, in this collection. Uh, just a couple racing games, and then the rest were all sports, I think. Ready to Rumble, boxing. And then the rest were just sports. <coughs> So I'll just kind of fan those out like that. I mean, no one really cares to see sports games anyway. And then uh, the N64 system. It's a little dusty. It's got the power pack. Um, just the regular expansion in there. No red pack, but still, it's not in bad shape. Both the controllers were pretty nice. They're fairly tight. The red one's better. I do have both of these in my collection already, so I don't need these. And then this NES system was a little dirty. Uh, it works. The back peg is not broken, uh, which is nice. So, yeah, not bad. Um, these uh, little tremor packs with a memory card also came with it. And then the last thing that came with this was two GBA games, and one is actually kind of harder to find, Jurassic Park Park Builder. And then the other one was F-14 Tomcat. Um, so maybe we'll just do a little spin around this deluxe set box here. Um, as you can see, it's in really, really nice shape. Um, it's pretty shiny. Very little wear on this box all overall. Um, the handle is missing, unfortunately. But that's not a big deal. Um, so yeah. That's uh, that's my score. Craigslist uh, paid two fifty, two hundred and fifty dollars for all that, all that, all that, that. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be uh, having more pickup videos uh, coming up soon, hopefully. Uh, pretty much find good collections every week. I'm going to start doing more of these pickup videos, so I hope everyone liked it. Take it easy.